A Penfield woman woke to a bag of rocks and a threatening note on her property this week. The reason? She put a Black Lives Matter sign in her yard. But the threat is actually having the opposite effect as it was intended. Christian Garzon live from Penfield right now with more on this. Christian, what happened here? Well, Adam, Lynn Aquafundata says her neighbors here are not only standing with the Black Lives Matter movement, they're also standing with her and putting signs in their yards. They want to tell whoever threatened her, well, you're not going to do that here. Lynn Aquafundata lives in this quiet Penfield neighborhood. She recently put up a Black Lives Matter sign in her yard, she says, to take a stand against systemic racism. But last Monday, she could see an extra object near the sign. I saw something at the end of the driveway, and I went down to see what it was, and what it was was a plastic bag with a note and a bunch of rocks. The note said, quote, your signs are offensive to many in our neighborhood. Please take them down. We won't be nice the next time. So that combined with a bag of rocks really felt like a threat to me. I know my neighbors. I don't know anybody in my neighborhood like that. And neighbors around Aquafandata have recently started adding signs to their yards or moving them to more prominent positions. They say they not only support the Black Lives Matter cause, they also stand with her. Having a, a neighbor being threatened, nobody nobody appreciates at all. So yeah. uh, So everybody Sure. wants to support Lynn. They are not seeing what the message is behind it, which is this is, you know, a lot of people have been oppressed for years just asking for equality. Aquafandata says the movement for real change in the community or in the country can start with something as simple as putting a sign in a yard. She says she and her neighbors won't be intimidated. The message of Black Lives Matter too important to ignore. It's such a small thing that we're doing in comparison to what other people have done. Uh, to overthrow racism and prejudice in this country. Now, Lynn did say she met with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office over this. They said if anyone else gets threats like these, please give them a call so they can file a report. Live in Penfield, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Christian. Coming up next.